What's that? God, could you believe it? The enemy within, within our own great metropolis and all. Yeah, not a slag heap in sight, eh? <laughs> I'd lock people up like that. I'd give them hard labour. That's what they want, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You better walk beside me. Eh? Huh? On the right. On the right. <laughs> well, what do you think they're going to do, eh? Well, you never know, do you? Lumps of concrete, potatoes with razor blades in. Half, it's half a dozen girls. Oh, yeah, they're all right, are they? The female of the species is more deadly than the male. Yep, watch her. Good morning, brother. Is this the delivery, brother? I am not your brother, or your uncle, or your cousin. I am not a relation of yours at all. This is an official dispute. We're redundant. I'm not surprised if you're all on strike. All we're asking is for support from other workers like yourself. Me, a worker? I'm an employer. I'm a member of the Chamber of Commerce. No, I guarantee he's not a worker. Now, a bit of a grafter, maybe, but definitely not a worker. Do I need this? Hey, Arthur, at my time of life? Flying pickets? Flying pickets? Yeah, yeah. Hilario. Come in, come in. Now they want redundancy. Look, I don't know what's happening to this country. Suddenly you can't sack a man. I'm a boss, they're the workers. I tell them what to do. Now they want to tell me. I like your suit, Arthur. Oh. And then, what's that? That for jogging? A marathon? I keep telling him, Solly. Don't you ever wear a suit? Huh? Weddings, funerals, court. Cool. Arthur and Prince Charles are the only men in the country with four suits. I bet the other geezer's paid for his. Hey, Terry, look, then why don't you uh, make us a pot of tea, eh? What are they striking about, anyway? Greed, Terry. Naked greed. Yours or theirs? You draw to the well and suddenly the well is dry. That is very true. What you need, Solly, is a rainy day. Here, come here, let me show you something. You know what this is? This is a bespoke suit. A Savile Row suit is a gentleman suit. Ah, oh, but you don't see gentlemen anymore. Arabs, maybe, with terrilene bedspreads, or Schwarzers with tribal robes. But no English gentlemen. They're all hibernating in the country seats, worrying about their death duties. That's what's happened to the English suit. Oh, it makes you proud to wear an English suit, doesn't it? You got yours off of Harry the Greek. Yeah, but I mean, it's a, it's a traditional garment, isn't it? It's like national costume. Yeah, Arthur, come here. How would you like to buy 20 bespoke suits? Bespo but, but they're made for particular people, aren't they? Yeah, but you can sell anything. You're famous for it. <laughs> Who's going to find a punter for this one, eh? What is it, a giant or something? Listen, there's always <laughs> got to be somebody. Yeah, but look, even with my special talent, Solly, it's not going to help you. I mean, how much do you need? What I need is an act of God. Oh, no, not another fire, Solly. Flood? Pestilence? Earthquake? Oh, this is serious, Terry. Mental breakdown. That was 1974. Oh, they do reoccur. Another one, and I'll be committed forever. I've got a better idea. A burglary. Oh, I thought you'd come up with that eventually. The perfect crime. Yeah, yeah, of course. What are they going to nick? 20 suits and a packet of needles? Money. Hey. Come on, I'll show you. No, I don't want to know. Not even for a joke. It is not a joke. Come on, at least look. You know about these things. Villainy, yeah? And him, he's been in prison. Yeah, and he don't want to go back again, thanks very much. Listen, what about all your crimes? Me? They weren't crimes. Uh, financial mistakes, uh, misjudgments. You got the wrong blokes, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm offering a lot of money. You yeah, like what? That's it, I'm off. No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Ear the man out. I don't want to. Common courtesy. You know what this is, don't you? Conspiracy. Conspiracy is plotting. We are chatting. Yeah, chatting about blowing his bleeding Peter. up. Look. All I want is someone to break into the factory, blow up the safe. Then I'll claim that the redundancy money's gone. Oh, is that all? Mad's mad. No, 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 no. He don't mean that. A small explosion. Nothing to harm anybody, just uh, a whimper, not a bang. See you later. Hey, you're being very impolite. Well, you didn't even make that cup of tea. What's the matter with him? Have I upset him? No, he don't understand your humour, Solly. I mean, I knew you were joking, but he did. You weren't joking. Three grand, maybe. Cash, no kites. Of course, I wouldn't want you to do it personally. I should hope not. My suggestion is that you're a sort of consultant. You recruit the experts. It's got to look good, obviously. Well, as you know, Solly, I know people. Yeah, you're like the godson. No, godfather. No, my godson, the one who's doing seven years in Parkhurst. He knew everybody. Now everybody's with him, Shigana. <laughs> you see, I know about fires, but burglaries, that is virgin territory, yeah. To me, it seems easy, am I right? No. What happens in the morning when the old bill comes and says how much money was there in the safe? I'll tell them there was 20,000 pounds in there. 
I'll even have a counterfoil from the bank. And then you claim the insurance? Well, with my record, I'll try, obviously, but uh, I don't know if I'll have much success. Listen, I worked hard all my life. They get good wages. Am I going to give them my life savings? Oh, incidentally, the three grand is for the safe breakers. My fee will be extra. A lot extra. Why does everybody steal from me? Uh, excuse me. How big are you? Hey? I might have something for you. What are you? 6'4", 46 chest. Look at that. Could have been made for you. Savile Row. I'm just an ordinary painter. Oh, don't painters have suits? Don't they go out of an evening? Look, your colouring and all. Yeah. Try it on. It's only 200 sobs. Up. Yep. <coughs> what did you say? I said to you, 170 sobs. Who do you think I am? David Hockney? A footballer? No, he's much smaller than you. Now look, don't, don't drip paint over it, but have a butcher's at this. I think I've done my leg. Nah, you haven't. Bloody painful. Well, you might have done your cartridge. Have I? Uh, it's a funny old life, isn't it? I thought this morning when I got up, I'd get a good eight hours in on the ladder. Have a couple of sherbets dinner time. Cheese and pickle sandwich. Nice. I wasn't thinking about my spring wardrobe. And then some idiot tries to sell me a several row suit when I'm 12 foot up a ladder. Opportunity is a fleeting thing. Remember Fleming when he discovered penicillin? He was up a ladder at the time, was he? I don't think anyone ever checked that. I'll tell you what I'll do. 150 sobs. This could be your lucky day. No. It's your lucky day. If my leg was okay, I'd kick you from here till next week. I'll tell you this, you tell you this, you'd probably prefer a pinstripe or something like that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'll see you Austin Reeds. Don't go under the ladder! Bad luck! Bungalow's behind the ramp, Dave. Uh, Who's that bloke on the ladder? This place, big killer ladder. Oriental Bazaar. Oh, there's one there for you. What are you, 42? I oh, know, thanks, Arthur. I've still got that terribly mohair you sold me last year. No, that was a steal. Yeah. I know the bloke who stole it. I wish to tell you, your power's over there, and has he got the ump? Why? What did he say? Nothing much. Arthur Lager. Those were his very words. He didn't even have a go at you, and that's unusual. I need your help. Yes, I understand your views. I'm not asking you to break in with a sawn-off shotgun. But you do know some unemployed thieves. And they're all having a bad time too. Scrimping and scraping. So no self-respecting thief would have anything to do with it. That is where you're wrong, my son. I don't want a self-respecting one. They come in all sizes, you know. Downmarket ones, sleazy ones, pathetic ones. Beasley. What, and his brother? They're nice lads. They turned over the Oxfam shop a couple of months ago. Is that sleazy enough for you? Do you know what you're getting into? Nothing, just helping out an old friend. Oh, I've got a blow. God, oh, what was that? Some geezer fell off a ladder. Again? <laughs> no, we don't do a lot now, since we got into catering. It's our new image. Yeah, I like to see young men striking out on their own. Well, no staff, see? Staff still. Nobody gets behind a jump, know what I mean? Yeah, family firm. <laughs> Not them, they're even worse. No, your mum, she's your greatest friend in life. I love her, Benny's the same. I'd do anything for her. Of course he would. But my mum's been cleaning for people all her life. Houses, shops. Picks up things, know what I mean? It's in her nature. Nothing wrong with her sweeping. Even though she's my own mum, she don't sweep around a Jack and Jill. Well, it's too tempting, isn't it? All the background and everything. That's very thoughtful, Billy. Well, I am a thoughtful man. That's why I'm a bit concerned about Solly's factory. How do you know it is? Fires and floods are safe. <laughs> it's only a question of time, wasn't it? But we're talking about a specialist now. Jelly ignite. That's tricky stuff, isn't it? How about your mum? She's a bit light-fingered, Arthur, but she ain't a thief. <laughs> that was my little joke, Billy. <laughs> no, 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 I know. I know, she's a jewel. A jewel? You're right there. I'll drink to that. Mmm. Talking about drinking, here's your specialist. Oh, my God. Not Scotch Harry. 
A pathetic petty pilferer, a bag snatcher. <laughs> this is great, eh? <laughs> All China's, eh? Hey, isn't it magic, this place? I heard you were running it, boys. I never realised you had patrons at Arthur Daly. Well, that drops in for his tea, doesn't he? Great to see you, Arthur. I was just telling Arthur about when you were an ace Peter man. You must have known that, Arthur. <laughs> I was a governor. Plastic jelly, thermal lances. Ah, I was a bizzo. Oh, I did my time in that game. Any chance of a ham roll? I told you, didn't I? Get him some tea. Yeah, I'd done all the bikes in Glasgow. I was famous before I was 25. Anyhow, what's the strength of this, eh? But you haven't done it for a while. It's in my bones. I was up for the big silver bullion job. Well, I never had a suit. No, I could have helped you then. Well, <laughs> could do with a suit. They don't look after your clothes. Who? Oh. I've been away. That's why you haven't seen me for a while. Sixteen months. Ah, no bother me. I can do that in my head. I'm just out. When? I know, this morning. See you, chaps. Hi. What's the matter? Forget it. I'm off. The man's only come out of the boob half an hour ago. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? Yeah, but he's hungry, isn't he? And he's keen. And he's cheap. What else do you want? What's a car in here? Do you want to work, Harry? I'm brand new. I've got a lot of loving to do. What are we going to do? You're the mastermind, Arthur. No, I am not. And don't you never, ever say that. I just might put some work your way. Never even seen you. Where are they going? Things they're sold. They're not worth anything. We're the only ones who make them work. Yeah, well, Arthur Daly brought me and make them work. So the governor's really done it, eh? We've worked for him for five years. Good stuff as well. No, I'm sorry, uh, I'm just a hired hand, all right? Most of us are. The girls reckon they're not worth anything, these. If Arthur doesn't sell them, I'll buy them back. Mm. I'll be back in business in a couple of months. Thought you were going to retire. Retire? Where would I go to? Hove? Brighton? Sit in a hotel lounge? TV room? I am a doer, Terry, not a sitter. I don't want to be rich. That's for young men when they still got ambition. <laughs> well, I haven't got it. Well, maybe you're lucky. All wise. Yeah. 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 Did Arthur tell you about tonight? No, he didn't, and I don't want you to either. In that case, shtum. My mum would like them. Come on, let's get busy. So you've done this before, hey, Harry? I told you. Better know. These old safes are a doddle. I hope they remember to put the door inside. Three grand. We could do one every night, be laughing. That's switch off, right? Yeah. I am people policeman. My role is preventive rather than detentive. I'm trying to close the club, Mr. Yeah. Chisholm. You people don't understand, policeman. Look at the environment I have to live in. Bloody tars. Pimps, grasses, rapists, muggers, transvestites. No wonder I have to have a drink occasionally. You certainly had a few tonight. Get a blanket. Hold up. Right, like that.
Right, sorry. Is that all right, Lover? Yeah, I'll be doing. Guys, you hear me? Really nice. It's not how we do. Eight. Oh, that's Wait, stand back, lads. Right. It's just a wee muffled bang. Nothing to worry about. Is that it? No sweat. One of the wee wires. I think we'll wait. Oh, wait a minute. Let's give it here now. Maybe this wee bit here. <laughs> Bread, is he? Flotsam and Jetsam. Oh, they were a good act. Oh, life. I'll tell you something. Good on a straightforward to go villain and be a breath of fresh air. That's got to be your taxi, Mr. Chisholm. Give him five on him. Allow me. This is not a bribe. Certainly not. See him off, would you tell? Come on, this way. Come on, dear. You just took a wrong turning in life, McKen. You didn't help, did you? Community policing. Oh, I should bar him. He upsets people. Yeah, especially when they're discussing business. Don't want him here, Olin. It's your mate in there, eh? Hey? It's your mate in! We've got another one of your pals with us. Now this is down to half, all right? Hey! Hey! Arthur! Scotch Harry! Uh, he is definitely barred. What's he doing here? Oh, Struff! Hey, come on, son. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come the on get him in the car. Oh, get him in the car. Oh, what? Get him in the car. You're right. Oh, that's it, that's it. Oh, it's all right, stay Just get in the car and drive, will you? Where? Where? Look. I hope he don't die in the motor. That's bad luck. It's really bad luck for him, isn't it? Is he breathing? Uh, but I can't you see. Oh, God, he's blind. What did you do for God's sake? Hold on, hold on. Um, what's it been different, Jerry? The new stuff, hell of a bang. Oh, great. But at least you got the dough. I said at least you got the dough. Wouldn't he, Alton? Oh. We've done the business of the door, wouldn't he, Budge? He needs a doctor, you know. I need a doctor. Do you hear what he just said? You can open a 50-year-old safe with a tin opener. That dough's still in there. I can see again. Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, it's my anky. Oh, thank God for that, because I wasn't going to have a whip round for a guide dog. Listen, we've got to get him to the hospital. I can't take him to the hospital. I'm a known person round here. I'll give the kids presents at Christmas at the hospital. But you can tell them you bought in Santa Claus, can't you? Look, he's got a burnt boat, not a white beard. No, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll dump him on a skip. What? No, 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 no. we'll leave him somewhere, uh, not necessarily a skip, make him comfortable, and then get on a trombone for an ambulance. Get me a priest. Eh? Hey? Catholic? Of course not, but you got a better deal. I mean, if you're going to die, you don't know how to do it. A full five-course bizzle. I don't know who's running that gaff up there. I just want to hedge my bears. No, no, no. You can't pretend... Oh, this is marvellous, isn't it? The greatest crisis of my life, and we've got a theological discussion going on. I'm dying, you know. <laughs> Get him off me! Get him off me! He's in a coma! Come Get him off me! Come... No, he ain't. He's all right. He's trying to strangle you, that's all. You all right, son? Well, I could really do with that drink. Oh, in that case, you're definitely not going to die, are you? How can people not die and drink at the same time? I've never drink for 16 months. I'm oh, born again drinker. Listen, son, whatever happens, you don't remember anything, right? Your name, your address, where you came from, nothing. I know the score. When I go to work, I'm the man from nowhere. I'm a pro, the bizzo. Pro? You and your mates, your gas meter thieves. That's a trouble in this country today. You can't find a good, honest to God, decent professional thief anymore. You're all gone to live in bloody Spain.
Nurse, nurse, excuse me. In the name of God, what's happened to him? Uh, well, I don't really know. I just found him outside, you know. I'm just sitting down there now for a minute. Oh, well, you're all right, mate. Go on. There you go. It's Terry, isn't it? Well, yeah. You're always in here. You must get yourself into an awful lot of scrapes. No, 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 no. Not me. No, it must be a different Terry. I'll see to him in a second. Now, another thing. You don't know me, all right? I know the drill. All right. I'll tell you one thing. The wife will be worried. She should be told her. But if anything happens, you never know, eh? No, you'll be all right. Fifteen franc a house, you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Aye, aye. Just in case, the old ticker or whatever, tell Arthur I'm sorry. I'll see you. You're a pal. You're wrong, mate. Oh, God, that's so... Uh, where's your friend? Uh, now, now, what's your name? Uh, you took your time. Couldn't leave him on the floor, could I? Why not? One of the nurses recognised me. Oh, my God, no. Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, that's what happens when you're nice to people. We'll be up the steps in no time. I'm, I'm not going to have it, not with my reputation. Early doors will go mad. Can you imagine that? No, no, it'll be a Spanish number. I'll be with all the others. All the others? You haven't got that sort of dough. I'll manage, don't worry. No, 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 go straight on. Why? Where are we going? See Scotch Harris missus. What? No, we're not. Well, she's got to be told, isn't she? She'll read it in the papers. You're all art, you are, aren't you? Women are strange. They get excited. They can't handle the old bill. They say things. Well, it's nothing to do with me. I mean, it's your gang. Don't you ever call it a gang. Just a loose collection of inadequate individuals. Who is it? Oh, Mrs. Stewart. Aye. Oh, I'm a friend of Harry's. Who? Harry, your husband. He thought you might be worried when he didn't come home after he'd come out of prison. How do you mean? Well, he came out this morning. I didn't even know he was in the jail. Well, you must have noticed he wasn't here. Hey, mister, I haven't seen him for eight years. Eight years? Well, weren't you a bit worried? Well, I was for about a year. I mean, he only went out for a can of lager. Mind you, he never was a reliable man. What's he been up to? Oh, a bit of this, bit of that. Ah, uh, that's him. Is that why you woke me up at four o'clock? Well, no, the, the, the thing is he's had an accident. Anything serious? I mean, terminal? No, 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 I don't think so. No. You win a few, you lose a few, eh, son? Yeah. Well, I've uh, given you the message anyway, all right? Yes, you did. And here's one for him. Tell him he owes me ten grand maintenance and he can drop dead as well. Good night, son. Headache, Gov? Certainly not. It's out late. And that well-known den of thieves, the Winchester Club. Socialising? Would I? 24 hour cop of me. Even when I'm asleep, I'm thinking. And vice versa, eh, Gov? <laughs> Celtic humour doesn't travel, Jones. Very witty with a sheep, not too clever in the metropolis. Why don't you try out your silver tongue with these bolchy strikers? They're not suspects, are they? Who knows? In this life of ours, everything is suspect. What you have here, Mr. Salmon, is a shambles. This is the work of incompetent gas meter thieves. Rank amateurs. Not even experts, eh? Why should they be experts? Why not? Why? 
Well, this isn't exactly the most inviting premises on the manor, is it? Why ever go at this place? How much do they get? I don't know. They didn't open it. Used enough jelly. Oh, very professional. Hmm. You've even incinerated the booty. Huh. How much did you say? Uh, uh, twenty thousand pounds. Really? Uh, uh, probably more. Ashes to ashes. They look like twenty thousand ashes to me. Who else knew you were carrying that kind of dough? <sighs> Nobody. Clients, reps, friends. No, I swear to you. Strikers. Who knows? I don't know. Mess in it, Gov. Got the names. What do they have to say? Not much. No visitors for several days. Uh, one bloke from the Union. Oh, and a couple of old friends of ours. Who? Who? Dalian McCann. Well, well, well. Oh, you didn't tell me that, Mr. Salmon, did you? Terry and Arthur? Oh, I didn't tell you that. Friends of yours, are they? Well, uh, not friends, not, uh, not real friends. <laughs> Suddenly I see blue skies, sunlight on the horizon. Not their style, though, Gav. I mean safe-breaking. Why not? Safes contain money, ipso facto. So, Arthur Daly, what's the matter with you? Look, Arthur wouldn't go to all that trouble. Now, you? now, Mr. Salmon, your business is tailoring. Mine is the criminal mind. Very eloquent, Gav. Very droll. You two scarpered off pretty sharpish. Well, we'll be on my bedtime, mate. Is he uh, dead, Scorcheri? How do I know? Man's health has a damage your brain. Expert, you said. He couldn't open a kid's money box. Well, what about uh, Doe? Doe? You want money as well? It's still in the safe, isn't it? What well, Scorcheri grasses? We're all done for a free year stretch. At least. What about you? What about me? I didn't do it. We agreed that from the start. You're not suggesting that I... Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, 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 steady, steady. You threatening me? You owe us, Arthur. Go easy on the threads. Sorry, Arthur. Thank you. I'll have a word with Solly. But I don't have high hopes. Well, that's not enough. What else can I say? You fancy a couple of suits? You might be surprised now. He looks like the invincible man. You mean the invisible man? Whatever you fancy, Sergeant. Quite ill. Oh, don't worry, we won't disturb him. Just a question of identity. We don't have a name. He wouldn't say. The burns suggest an explosion. Irish. He certainly is not. Look at him. Here. Oh, yes. Well, sir, what have we got here? What are you, eh? Safe breaker or an urban terrorist? Can it talk? Possible. Do we have an address? <coughs> Foreigner, is he? Who knows, Sergeant Chisholm? I know him. It's them minces. See him. I can't hear him, but there's an aura of wickedness. Copper's instinct. He's a wrong un. You're amazing, Gav. You taking a piss? No, Gav. Did I do that? Well, we can confirm my view by taking his dabs, all right, Doctor? I'm afraid not. His hands have been dressed. Well, undress them then. It is my professional view. Yeah, yeah, they all say that. Unless their houses have just been turned over. Oh, sorry. Well, what about his clothes? 
They were in tatters. I put them in the incinerator. No ID? No, nothing. I know you, pal. Seen those eyes. Aye. I've seen them, too. It was one of those Walt Disney nature films when a coyote was trapped. We'll be back, my old friend. And we won't be bringing any grapes. Thank you, Doctor. Nurse. How did he get here? Not under his own steam. Ah, oh, sure, he was in a terrible state. Hands and knees? No, somebody helped him. Yes? Just a man. He said he met him in the street. And who was this uh, good Samaritan? Well, I wouldn't know his full name, but I've seen him around. Oh. Yes? Um, he's called Terry. Well, well, well. About 2,000 Terry's on this manor. For some reason, one particular Terry leaps to the mind. And, of course, you'd recognise him if you saw him again, wouldn't you? Well, I suppose so. Has he done something wrong? All the time, my dear. A person known to the police, as they say, Jones. Terry. It's a very popular name. Oh, yes, indeed. You haven't been in here for a while, have you? Always happens. What? The same faces. In this manner, there must be, what, 300 of them? The real rascals. If this was a police state, and thank God we don't live in one, I could put those 300 behind bars. But you are protected by rules and laws, arrest procedures, habeas corpus, and all that cobblers. I oh, hear you're in the safe breaking now. Me? Could I phrase that better? I understand you were hanging around a clothing factory yesterday. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I, I was collecting a few sewing machines. That was earlier. You see? That's what happens with your unfortunate history. You're in the frame. For what? You know. No, I don't. And of course, you didn't know there was 20 grand in the safe, did you? Well, how the bloody hell should I know, eh? Oh dear, oh dear. Getting violent, aren't we? Is that a violent act, Mr. Jones? A bit impolite, I say. Mm, very. Well, can I go yet? You must be joking. Oh, didn't I tell you about the hospital? Got a very good description of you from an accident victim. Who's he? A witness. I well, see so you. Uh... You mean you don't know his name? Oh, Mr. Chis Mr. Jones, I mean, I, I don't know why you're asking me all these questions about last night, or safe breaking, robbery, all that stuff. I mean, I've got the best alibi in the world, haven't I? Such as? Well, I was with you, Mr. Chisholm. Don't you remember? At a Winchester club, having a bit of afters. You, me, Arthur, Dave, oh. Oh, incidentally, you do know that you owe Arthur a fiver, don't you? <laughs> That is a private matter. Oh, of course. Well, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll mention it, you know, while we're chatting. You got a fiver? Aye, aye. To him? Yes, yes. <laughs> Bit of a turn up, innit, eh? I mean, usually it's the suspect who's corrupting the old bill, innit? Usually. No, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, Anyway, what were you chatting about, eh? No, 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 I'm not going in. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? He's your mate, but now I'm getting all the hassle off a of chisel. Yeah, but you're in the clear. Listen, he's still going to want a body, isn't he? We can't guarantee on Harry, can we? What? He's pure gold, like one of our own. Exactly. Now you wait here. Wait. You questioning my bottle? Yes. Have I ever let you down? Yes. 
I'll give you five minutes. You stay there. I suppose you get captured. You stay. <coughs> Wait! Stay! Turn around! Oh, nurse. Sister. Oh, sorry, um, it's my cousin's in here. I think that's him. Uh, how is he? Much better. Perhaps you can tell us his name. He seems to have a speech problem. Yeah, yeah, actually, he's, <laughs> he's had that since he was a kid. It's, um, Roland. Roland Brown. Brown? Yeah, that's right. Um, can he move about? Can he walk? Of course he can. He'll be fine in a few days. Oh, that's smashing. Thanks a lot. Are you Harry? Aye. How are you? I'm magic. It's great to see you. Listen, do you feel up to doing a runner? Oh, well, you know me. I'm game for anything. Great. Put some clothes in a cupboard in the corridor. All right. What you doing here? Are they flogging off the beds? <laughs> no, no, Mr. Chisholm, just doing one of my usual good deeds, you know. Early indoors visiting a sick neighbour. Nice drink last night, eh? No hangover, I hope. No, <clears throat> thank you. Oh, you don't by any chance happen to have my fiver, do you? I gave it to the can. Oh, you sure? <laughs> What's he up to, eh? Well, you'll never know with Arthur, do you? Take that Welsh smirk off your face and all. Brand new. Hey, nice suit. Here, yeah, get him in there. In the back. Go, go on, there, go. On. All right, Harry. He'll probably come back. Why? They all come back at tea time. I've heard about places like this. They take off wrong legs, misplaced gallbladders, and apparently you can lose a patient. Thank God, he wasn't ill. Come on, Jones. Just up here on the left, number 15. Right, right, well look, look, you dwell here a moment and I'll, um, I'll just charm her. <laughs> You're kidding, aren't you? Well, you leave this to me. Well, run for me. Mrs. Stewart, I have some good news for you. A shock may be, but good news. Are you the man for the papers? I said bingo! Almost, my dear. Wait, wait. Almost. Me, Hen! Can't help us, what is it? That's what I thought you'd say. Home is a sailor, home from the sea, the hunter home from the hell. I said, it's some awful disease that'll get him away from me. Don't go over the top, Harry. I said, catching. It's no scabies or anything like that, is it? No, no it's all right, honestly. Oh, my dear Louise. <laughs> Look, staying here, is it? It's bloody arm. It is my home, isn't it? Eight Mr. years? Mary, it's still my home. She's never satisfied. See, I mean, I've furnished this whole place. Yeah, all right, the best Harry. years of my life were spent here. He's off his rocker. The best years of his life were spent battling the scrubs and his bootmakers with shops. She's no memory of the magic moments. Do you not remember me as a young, dashing, tall guy? It's the bandages. It's always been that size. Listen, no, no, listen, Harry. look, look. Let's just all calm down, all yeah, right? What a good idea. Come on, look. Sit in your favourite easy chair. Yeah, yeah. I've never had one. Sit in that one. Come on. Now, when the bell goes, come out fighting. See, she does not, not yet, Harry. 
Now look, Mr. Stewart, the thing is, he wants to stay here for at least a few days. The point is, if he goes down the street, he's going to be captured. And he's not the only one involved. There are others, like Terry and me. Now, the moment the bandages come off, Bob's your uncle. He's as innocent as the next man. And the other thing is, when he was in the hospital, he kept calling out for you. It was very moving, wasn't it, Terry? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I came round last night. I'm not moved. Did you call out for me, Harry? Oh, I often do, Hen. <laughs> oh, she's the bizzle, yeah. <laughs> right, what's in it for me? Oh, <laughs> these are my friends. You're pathetic. Look, you'll be protecting your own husband. As I said, what's in it for me? If he's that valuable, there must be a price. Look, Hen, you're bargaining for my body. What is it they call it? Blackmail? You tell her, Arthur. <laughs> We don't do this. In the underworld, we've got a code. Is that right? Aye. Let's talk money. Now I realise why I left her. She's worse than my barker. Look, Harry is not a wealthy man. It's all right for you. I mean, there's the foot and I've got the flat to arrange. And what about Susie? Susie who? Your married daughter. Oh, well, that's Susie. Well, obviously, I'll give you a couple of bob for the food. Two bob, eh? I want, well... Three hundred. What you call that blackmail? Is that all I'm worth? Well, fuck then. Don't you be intimidated by these people. That's it, I'm off. It's not my problem. But they're threatening me. No, they're not. See, he's bottling out. No, I'm not. I'm going, that's all. It's not my problem. Yeah, and I'm coming with you. No, you're not. How about a pocket? For all I know, I could be grotesquely disfigured. He used to be a handsome man, you know. Never in a million years. And don't you forget, I personally rescued you from Mr. Plod. Do what? Not to say bringing you back your ever-loving wife that you deserted eight years ago, and Susie. If this was This Is Your Life, they'd be cheering and crying and giving you a red book. Never mind that. I'd done the bizzo on that safe. That is the whole point. You did not do the bizzo. That is why we're in this mess -o. Look, dear, I see you get enough dough to give him all the mints and totties and porridge that he can eat. You caught me flaming, you're all the same. Are you gonna let him get away with us? I'm not too steady in my pins. Get! Where's my door? Shh, shh, shh. Come on, my Be yourself. I'll blow the whistle. I'm not kidnapping. What was all that about the code of the underworld in there then? Oh, that was just for her. It's not true. No, anymore, anyway. I mean, Billy and Benny, they'd grass at me, wouldn't they? No, 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 I've heard they're very loyal boys. Come on, eh? A couple of drinks and I'd do anything, but I'm dead sober now. See, in that hospital, I nearly had ten heart attacks. Chisholm, sniffing around, and he knows me. My time of life, I couldn't handle another bit of porridge. I wouldn't blow the whistle, but Christ, I need that money. Yeah, but a grand. You've always got a good wedge on you, Arthur. Just to show her, I've still got a little respect. Eh? You're a big man, Arthur. Look, I've got 500, and that is all. We are now quits, right? Oh, you're a great man, Arthur. You'll feel better for this. You know what I think? That little Scotchman turned me over. <laughs> and I think it was the most decent thing you've done for years. You would think that, wouldn't you? Mm. No sign of the Invisible Man, eh, Gav? What about him away? Got no proof, though, have we? They won't have to find some, if you take my meaning. Patient disappears from a well-known hospital. Can't tolerate that. Whatever next? Body snatching? That Burke on air, now they've got Daly and McCann. I read somewhere that there's a thriving business in spare parts for surgeons. Makes you think, doesn't it? It yeah, makes you think, Jones. I'm all for that. What do you reckon, then, Gav? Well, they're at it. On this. In cahoots. But these are no longer your property, Solly. 
Did you give me cash? You have my bond. Yeah, but did you give me cash? That is immaterial. Cash is simply a token. I didn't even have a token. You took care of them for a night. And what a night. I lost money, peace of mind. Don't talk to me about money. I'm well out. I had to pay. Well, then, forget it. And we need these sewing machines. She was your enemy yesterday. Oh, 24 hours is a long time in tailoring. You know you get money from the government? Enterprise, they say. They'll do anything to stop you joining a doll queue. And anyway, Mr. Salmon's putting up his own money as well. Where'd you get that, then? 17 grand, my life savings. Maybe I owe it to the girls, eh? Maybe you owe a few other people too, Solly. All in good time. We've got to get on our feet. Modernised premises, fresh thinking. Like a collective? Yeah, you know, co-op. Co-op, Solly? That is communism. Turned out nice again, didn't it? <laughs> Look at him. Latent. I've been thinking of... Oh, not again. What's in it for us, eh? No money stolen. No circumstantial or forensic evidence. The prime witness has disappeared and the victim seems very friendly with the suspect. All I'm saying is this. Who bloody cares? Yeah. Sodom. Ha, <laughs> ha,